this is a least common denominator or least common multiple for rational expressions. So it's a little bit more in depth than our previous LCM. But let's go back and look at it anyways. So LCM is the smallest multiple that two or more numbers share. So if you were to take four and start multiplying it out and then take 10 and multiply it out, the LCM of four and 10 would be 20. It's their least common multiple. So if you read it backward, it's the multiple that they have in common and it's the least. All right. So when we do that with these expressions now that have variables in them, we're going to look at the numbers individually. So you have three and nine and their LCM for three and nine is nine. Now, when it comes to the letters, what you do is you pick the one that has the largest exponent. So we have an X, we have a Y and we have a Z. So you write X, Y and Z. And the largest for x is 5, the largest for y is 3, and the largest for z, well, that's a 1. That is your LCM. See, what's happening is this. Let's just look at just the x. If you have x squared and you have x5, if you look at just variable multiples of x5, you would get x6, x7, x8, and so on. And x squared would be x3, x4, x5. You see, it's right there. You take the smallest one, if you keep multiplying x's to it, it will eventually hit the larger one. Same thing with y. That'd be y, y squared, y cubed. It's y cubed. z and z, well, they're the same to begin with, so it's just z. All right, so let's try this one again. 16 and 4. 4 goes into 16, so it's 16. We also have an x, a y, and a z. Largest of the x's, Largest exponent for the x's is 1, so it's just 1. For the y's is squared, and for the z is z. And that's it. That's your LCM. Okay? So if you want to look at it a little differently, if you want to make this number into this, all you'd have to do is multiply it by z. And you'd have the same expression. If it took 4, you could multiply it by 4. I've already got an x and y squared. So if we multiply this one by 4y squared, we would get 16xy squared z. And if you multiply this one by z, we would get 16xy squared z. This is a multiple of both, and it's actually the smallest. All right, so let's look at another one. You have x and x squared. We have x plus y and x plus y cubed. So the two things that are being multiplied are the x and the x plus y. So those are our factors. For the x, the squared is the largest, so we can make this one into that one. And for the x plus y, the cube is the largest, so you could turn that one into that one. That's your LCM. Give this one a shot. Hit pause and try it. Heck, try 4 and 5 since it's on the screen. And there you go. Those are the two you should get. So the only factors we have here are x minus 3 and x plus 2. The largest exponent for the x plus 3's is 4, and the largest exponent for the x plus 2's is 2. So there's the LCM. And then for the, the next one, we have an x minus 3, a 2x plus 3, and a 3x plus 5. And their exponents are all 1, so they're all 1. And that's your LCM. All right, these are our last two, one for me, one for you. So we have a 4 and a 6, so the LCM is 12. And if you can't see that one, take 4 and 6 and just start multiplying. You'll eventually hit it. There's also other techniques. We also have an x and a y. We have an x minus 2, anything else, and an x plus 2. Now we just need the exponents. Squared, and then everything else is 1. So that's everything. All right, this one's for you. And the reason I'm saving it because it's involved. This is where they're going to look when you start them. And what you have to do first is factor. Now, to give you a hint, there's going to be a common factor in there 99% of the time. There's always that one problem there isn't, so at least it'll give you a start when you're factoring them. But hit pause and give them a shot. I want the full LCM. And there is the LCM for those. So if you factor these, factor this one, let's double check it. We get minus 6 and plus 3. That's minus 3. 
we have a 2x minus 3, a 2x plus 3, and an x minus 3. Those are the different factors, and they're all 1s for exponents. So there is the LCM, and that's everything. Thank you.